Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at pinning apps to your sidebar. So by the end of today's video you'll know how to pin an app to the sidebar, which apps you can pin and how to get rid of ones that you don't use anymore. I'm Gavin Jones, I'm Transformation Manager for Fortune 500 Company and all the tips we've got on YouTube have come out of real life examples. Don't forget the subscribe button and the bell icon. So we've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below to get the deck of how we would train Teams and it's got all of the tips, or most of the tips, written down all in one place for you. So let's go on and have a look at pinning apps to our sidebar. So firstly, apologies for the random angle. I've just come back to my mum's house because she's been ill over the past couple of days. Um, and I don't have a tripod or any camera equipment with me. Uh, hopefully this will still work for us. Um, so let's jump straight into Teams and we'll have a look at what we've got going on in our sidebar. As you can see, mine's already customised from what you get uh, a standard. Um, you can see we've got a OneNote tab open right now, and actually that's one that's not pinned, which is why uh, the OneNote is in italics. But if we click on these three dots, you can see all of the apps that we've got installed in Teams that we can use for personal use that are available to pin to the sidebar. So you'll see Files is one of the ones you might already have in your sidebar, because that comes as standard. And I've removed that one because I don't find myself using Files that much. Uh, at least from the sidebar bit of Teams anyway. Um, so I've unpinned that. So to unpin something to make space and say you didn't want calls, all you do is come right click on calls and unpin. And that would remove it from your sidebar and then add it to the three dots list there. So if you want to then, uh, so then calls is always available temporarily like my OneNote is. If I want to reinstate calls, just right click and pin it. And then if it's in the wrong place, you just left mouse click and drag it to where you want it. So you can see that we've got these apps uh, available to pin. And if you didn't have those, you can click on more apps and then go and search for uh, personal apps. And these are the ones that probably would pop up in your sidebar, although I haven't tested uh, all of them. But that would make sense that they're personal ones and the personal ones that you can go to the side. So we've got... Uh, flow pins so we can get access to our notifications easily and approvals. We've got Wiki, which we'll link in the description below if you don't know what, what Wiki is, uh, to our other video. But here we didn't really cover it in the previous Wiki video, you can get your personal Wiki, which you can make uh, quick notes on just for yourself. But also you can get access to all of the other Wikis that are in any team that you're a member of, um, straight from the sidebar here. If you use Planner a lot, again I'll link that in the description below why that's useful. But here you can get access to all of the tasks that have been assigned to you from anywhere in your organisation. Um, and again you can get access to all the other Planner boards straight from there as well. Um, and I use OneNote a lot, but don't find the OneNote personal app integration in Teams uh, that useful because if you click on it you'll see it's loading basically the web version of OneNote um, and it's quite slow to switch so if I was in Planner and then wanted to switch back to looking at my notes it's then got to load the screen every time to sort of come back on um, and it's a lot easier just to switch back to your desktop app rather than uh, use the one in Teams I think which is why I haven't got OneNote pinned um, but hopefully that gives you a quick overview of pinning apps, why you might want to do them, how to remove apps and move them around. So a bit of a quick uh, video this week and uh, we'll be back next week to have a look at uh, forms integration and how we can do some uh, quick polls in Teams. Um, so if you want to get notified when that video comes out, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already. If you like this video, remember to click the like button. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below to get our deck of uh, free tips and deck that we use for training, which might be useful for you as well if you want to train teams in your organisation. Finally, at me time, we think that there's probably still a better way to run meetings. We've got a meeting timer 
in the iOS App Store, you can search for MeTime or visit www.metimeapps.com if you want any more information. So thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in next week's video.